right here at CES 2010. And uh, you drove it. Yes, hi, my name's Mark Fuccio. So, so what do you do? I'm responsible for a number of marketing activities. At Drobo, yeah. At Drobo, yeah, absolutely. So what is the device that you, you So have? We, have, we have a product family. The best way to think about Drobo is it's like a disk drive that never gets full and never loses your data. The reason we say it never gets full is you can start out with as few as two drives, add a third or a fourth to increase capacity, or if it's all of its full, you can remove the drive and replace it with a bigger one. You've seen maybe that sort of progression of adding drives here. We have you know, drives of uh, different sizes. So the reason I say it uh, never gets full is it can keep on adding data. The reason it never gets, uh, it doesn't lose data is we write data to it redundantly. So your data is protected against a single or with these models against two hard drive, simultaneous hard drive failures. So. You know, that's the key idea behind Drobo. The other idea is life is complex enough. You know, there's a microprocessor inside. It should be smart enough to manage itself. So our model for interacting with it is we use lights to communicate status. The size of the faceplate of every Drobo. This is our user manual, just five lines. Green means everything is okay. When you get 85% full, it will turn the smallest drive yellow. This is like the gas gauge in your car. It's a warning. It's starting to run out of capacity. If you keep using it and adding and collecting data, when you're 95% full, it will turn that red, which is a warning that you're finally full and really need to add drive now. That's just awesome, but uh, it's kind of sad when it gets red, no? It is. So red sometimes... Red, well, red means it's broken? Uh, no, no. Yeah. Flat, you know, just a red, a solid red means you're 95% full. This device is saying, I'm hungry, feed me another drive. Yeah, or oh, delete. It, it will eat, yeah, it will yeah. like need drives. If a drive fails, you know, then Drobo will flash red. So that you see as a warning that you know that the drive has failed, so you should go out and that replace it. That might mean it. it's broken. Or it probably Fla means it's broken. Fla yeah, flashing mean, means the drive is broken. So what does the Drobo do? Does it format the drive when it's put in? You need to format it before? Yes, the first time, and only the first time, you, you need to format the drives. Thereafter, you can just keep you know, feeding drives to Drobo. But the machine does it. The machine does it. You don't have to. So let's see an example. So we're showing here, we're streaming a movie. Yeah. We're reading the data off this drive. Let's simulate a drive failure. Let's pop a drive out. So what we're seeing is the drives are flashing. So what Drobo is saying is the drive is failing. We're relaying the data to make it safe on the remaining drives. How long time does it take to re relay? Uh, 1.5 terabytes. Okay, the time it takes is dependent on proportional to the amount of data within the array. So if you don't have a lot of data, it will go very quickly. If you have you know, a terabyte, it will take several hours. But one thing you should notice is while this is going, at the same time, you know, the movie is continuing to play. So even though a drive has failed, you don't lose access to your data. Unlike other traditional rate arrays, where at this point, it's making noises or flashing an operator console and taking itself offline until you repaired it. Good. Because again, a lot of your creative activities, if a drive fails, we all know it, it invariably happens when you're on a deadline. So with Drobo, you can continue to operate, and in a day or two, you can go out, go, go online, go to your favorite store, get another drive, and just slide it in. No, no tools, no special sleds or carriers. You can just slide it in. Totally plug and play. Totally plug and play. No, absolutely it's, no, 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 nothing. Just take it out. No, nothing. It's hot swap. All the time, it's hot swap. You don't have to do anything. This is easier than changing toner and printer. But when it blinks, you should rather not take the second one out, right? That's right. So what you've seen now is, okay, so two things happen at the same time. We're finished rebuilding the array, and this draft's going out, the drill landed it in. Everything is green, it's back to the uh, Can we check behind? Is this one connected? Or can we? No, this, this is not connected. Can we see uh, what's behind? Sure. So this Drobo has connection for USB and for FireWire. So this USB uh, goes to uh, the computer? Or? Yes, USB will go to the computer or FireWire will go to the computer. 
this model Drobo has USB and FireWire and also adds an eSATA connection. But where's the uh, Ethernet port? Okay, these two don't have Ethernet. So it's just Wi Fi? No, no, it's, it's, it, it's direct attached to a computer using USB ah. or FireWire yeah. or eSATA. Yeah. These, these two models add an Ethernet port. This one is called Drobo Pro. There's USB, FireWire, and Ethernet. So here, the idea is to use the Ethernet Ethernet as a fast wire to connect to your computer. On this model, this is truly a storage networking device. It has two Ethernet Ethernet ports. And you can connect up to 16 workstations or servers to this simultaneously by plugging both of these ports into a network switch. So uh, how much do they cost? Quite a range. So US price for this. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So we offer our drives so, you know, system seven ways with or without drives. Some people are very particular about the drives, other one convenience. So this one starts at 399 US. That's not that's it. This one is 799. This one is 1499 for drives. And this one is 34. Alright. Anything. What, what do you think is going to happen? USB 3? Uh, okay, so in the future, you know, we are continuing to respond to our customers who are demanding they want more drive and they want more performance. So, in generic terms, you know, you'll see more performance and more capacity in terms of future product releases from our company. How many drives does he have? This one has eight. So are you making a model with 25 drive capacity or what would, would that cost a lot? I don't know. We haven't thought about that at this okay. point. Okay. But okay. one day I'm sure we will. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks. Thank you very much.